Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to play around with virtualization inside a VMware Workstation. So what VMware Workstation and other virtualization products let you do is they let you put an operating system inside of another operating system. So here you can see I'm running the newest version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 10.04 and I'm running it inside of my Windows 7 desktop. So you can see here if I do WinVer on the main system, I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium. This is on a Core i7 with 8 gigs of RAM. Now, if you want to play around with virtualization and VMware, you don't need that powerful a machine. Uh, generally, if you have a dual core with at least 4 gigs, you should be okay. You could even get by with about 2 or 3 gigs, but it will limit you on the number of virtual machines you'll be able to run, and the speed will be a little bit slower but doesn't uh, you could still play around with it. So there are two versions of VMware for desktop users. There's actually more than two, but the main two versions are VMware Workstation, which is a paid product. You, you have to pay some money for it. And it lets you do a couple cool things. It lets you snapshot the virtual machine and clone it. So what these allow you to do is, let's say you're working in a company and you all need to have the same virtual machine of Linux. So it has to have the same programs and stuff like that. What you would do is you would pop in Ubuntu, you would configure it with the correct packages, and then you would click clone, and then you would just copy that file into other hard drives of your coworkers. So clone is sort of like ghost for those of you who have played around with the desktop copying products. Snapshot, what that allows you to do is before you make a major change, let's say you're a web programmer and you're programming to see how pages look on different operating systems, when you take a snapshot, you do a change, you, uh, you know, let's say you're, you're playing around with Apache and you're scared of what a, a certain setting will do, well, take the snapshot, change the, sh the setting, if the thing blows up, then you just revert back to the snapshot and you're good to go. Okay. So those are the two, two main things. Uh, there's also some password encryption if you want to share, if you want to share the virtual machines, then you could have it AES encrypted. So that's a pretty nice feature of VMware Workstation. There is a free product called VMware Player, and you can just get that off of the VMware.com website. You have to fill out some things like your email address and your name and stuff like that, but after that, you can download it for free. And that allows you to play VMs and also create VMs. So what exactly do we mean by a VM? Well, when you make a VM or when you get a VM, there's two ways of getting it. You could actually download a pre-made one, which is what I've done here. This is sort of the cheating way of doing it. And what you could do, there are many sites and also BitTorrent. You could easily find these things. There are pre-made things that people have done. And here we've got Ubuntu 10. So someone's done this already, and they've basically zipped it up and popped it on the Internet. All I had to do is download it, unzip it, and double-click the VMware file, and then I got this. It's pretty easy, and it's pretty brainless. Another way to get a v virtual machine is to make it yourself. So in both VMware Player and Workstation, you create a file on your hard drive, and it could be from just a few gigs big to several gigs, like 10 gigs, 20 gigs. And the operating system is going to think that is a complete hard drive and install into there, just like a blank machine. So it's, it's a pretty cool way of doing it. We will cover that in a later video. But here I've already double-clicked on the Ubuntu and I've loaded it up, it's pre-made. When you come up with VMware Workstation in the beginning, it's going to look pretty much like this. Uh, actually, these toolbars up top will look something like that. You'll have two rows. So what, I'll, what I usually do is I kill the sidebar, it's pointless, and then I move these toolbars down here, move them up so I get only one line of junk here. This thing at the bottom here is called a status bar and I kill that, I go to view, status bar and now that's gone and we'll go over some of the other edit preferences and some of the other VMware stuff later but for now we're just going to go into our VM I'm going to click on this this is just a quick demonstration here and you can see I can enter in a password I've already changed my keyboard to Dvorak because one thing is if you type Dvorak on your Windows it's not going to map the keys into the VM which is kind of unfortunate just a quick change and it works. And you can see Ubuntu is booting up and I could do everything just the same. I could update my packages, I could run pretty much anything I want. Uh, 
let's just open up Firefox and we'll see that internet connection is not a problem. I can surf the internet within Ubuntu. So what it's doing is it is mapping the network interface inside of Ubuntu, specifically the Ethernet interface, to my outside connection. It's actually NATing it through my outside connection, which is a wireless connection on the laptop. So from wireless to a virtual wired connection. I can sort of resize my window there and as you can see I've got my Windows desktop so I could do both things at the same time if I wanted to. And then I can, if I have two screens it's really awesome because I could move my virtual machine to another screen. I could work here while doing my Linux stuff on the left. So it's very very nice. If you have a powerful enough machine you can run multiple operating systems at the same time inside of the same VMware. So this is where you go to view and tabs and you'll see the different tabs. So it could be Ubuntu, you could be Mac OS. So yes, you can run Mac OS inside of your PC. You could run multiple versions of Ubuntu if you wanted to. So Ubuntu 10, Ubuntu 9, Ubuntu 8 if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but you know it, the option is there. You could also run other Windows operating systems like Windows XP, Windows Vista, uh, God heaven forbid, Windows 98, stuff like that. Uh, that is if you're in a call center environment where people are calling you up for tech support and you know they happen to have an old operating system Windows, Windows XP well instead of having three different machines with different operating systems you could have a single powerful machine and have it all within VMware. So this was a quick and easy video of what you can do with the VMware, a quick introduction. In later videos we'll go over creating a virtual machine, the settings and preferences for virtual machines and also some cool stuff like installing GNS3 inside of Ubuntu and which is also inside of VMware. So thank you for watching. This has been a Router Gods video.